Hello cactus and succulent growers. Um, I thought I'd do an update on some of my latest seedlings, which I have five species of agave and one species of dikea, which I have been trying to germinate from seed. Um, they are in my grow tent, which has been maintained at a temperature which during the light cycle has been above 25 Celsius. Um, and at all times it's been above 20 Celsius, which hopefully um, is big enough uh, is high enough for them to germinate so within these plastic bags I have some pots which you can see there's some germination has happened there um, these were planted 13 days ago so it is now time to look at what's happened I'm gonna take them out of the bags and um, let them dry out a bit um, and see how many I've got So here we go. Um, each of these pots, I had five seeds, uh, which I put on the surface of the soil and then covered lightly with a little bit of sand. Um, the aim being that that would help them to um, establish themselves. Um, I'm a little bit disappointed with so the germination rates of, of some of these. So we have here agave avatifolia which I have one here that's looking pretty healthy. Um, it's already getting its uh, second leaf down the bottom there. Um, that's looking quite good. We have agave parasana, again one germinated plant, looking very healthy. We have agave attenuata. Um, there's one plant, it's looking like it's a little bit shriveled and unhealthy. I'm not sure whether that's going to survive, um, I will give it a bit of TLC um, and give it its best. We have, I'm not quite sure what that one is, I'll have to look it up, but there's one here that's obviously very healthy. Now this one appears to have germinated but failed to establish itself properly in the soil. Um, I don't know if it's going to be possible to sort of put the root in the, in the soil and, and get it to upright and to grow or, or whether that one has, has basically had it um, but I'll, I'll perhaps give it a go. This one is uh, Agave Regina uh, Victoriae and we've got three that have grown here. A um, little bit smaller than the rest but they're looking very healthy um, so I'm quite pleased with those. And the final pot is my Dikea brevifolia. Um, unfortunately not very much seems to have happened there. Um, I don't know if there's something I've done wrong with the, the growing conditions um, that it's it's not been happy or whether the seeds were just not very good seeds. Um, what I do have is another five seeds of these uh, which I can uh, try again. I might try a slightly different substrate and, and see what's happening. So this is 13 days after I planted them. I'm reasonably happy that I've got some good plants here that uh, I will hopefully be able to nurture and get to grow to a good size. Um, at this point I'm going to take them out of the plastic bags and leave them out. They'll be still be in a warm place um, under a grow light and hopefully uh, over time they'll just sort of um, gradually establish themselves and start to look a little bit more like agaves because at the moment they little look like grass seedlings. Um, so there we go, that's today's seedlings. Um, and if you want to try and grow agave seeds, um, the recommendations I saw were that they should be germinated above 25 Celsius. Um, and in a, in a fairly bright light, but where you cover the seeds uh, for the germination process. So, I um, hope that's interesting. And if you want to grow agave seeds, uh, do please comment and, and let me know if you think there's anything I could have done better or that I've done wrong. Um, please comment below. Thanks, guys, everyone. Bye.